Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. What we're going to look at today is a couple of bonsai kits from Platts. Um, so first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we do new videos. Um, we're going to start doing a video, make sure we get a video out every week. Um, so the first one is, I think that's number three, I can't remember quite now. No, that's number four. That's number three. We'll have a look, see what's inside the box, see what how they're put together. Maybe we'll actually put them together in their one twelfth scale. Okay, so let's have a look inside the two boxes, see what we get. This is obviously number three. This is the real scale, what it actually looks like. And um, you can see the pictures there. Um, on the sides of the boxes, we've got a picture of the sprue, the parts inside the box. Um, this one's obviously been, been painted, although they do come in brown, so you don't have to paint them if you don't want to. Some other bonsai on the other side there that, that I believe are available, although I haven't seen those. And there's nothing on the bottoms of the boxes. So when we open up one of these boxes, so basically this is what you get. It's like a, a styrofoam tray, but the sprue is held above the styrofoam tray so that the foliage doesn't get damaged, which is a pretty neat move. And then we also have the stands inside and the instruction sheet. The instruction sheet is Basically the text is all in Japanese, but the diagram is clear enough. You should be able to work it all out for yourself. I've built a couple of these before from these, so they're, um, they're pretty straightforward. Ah, different types of bonsai trees. Um, so it's not too bad to work out. Let's have a quick look at the other one. Again, similar thing, a tray. Um, the sprue is held above the tray so the foliage doesn't get damaged. This one's a little taller. The stands again. This one has like a table and it hangs off the side of a table. Again, one sheet of instructions. Um, easy enough to work out from the diagrams. Don't really need to read the instructions. Um, and should look pretty neat when it's done. Again, pictures on the back. So, should be pretty straightforward. What I'll do is I'll take a bunch of photographs, put those on the website, and might as well quickly put these together. I don't think I'll bother with painting as such, but I'll quickly put them together. Okay, so here you can see the two new ones plus the two previous ones that I've done for previous reviews. It takes about 10 minutes to build each one, so nothing uh, too difficult. The instructions make it really plain and simple exactly where everything goes. The only hassle I had was the uh, the one that sort of leans off the table um, is a bit side heavy, so I had to sort of glue that one down, otherwise it will fall over. But other than that, no issues, no problems. They look pretty neat at the end. Um, there'll be a neat little neat little thing to do for a distraction, especially for some for younger people. It'd be a neat little thing for them to do. Um, I haven't painted any of these, um, which you could easily do, um, or filled in some small gaps visible for the room where things join together. But that'd be easy enough to sort of sort out and then uh, and then paint them. All pretty neat kits, so uh, many thanks to Platts for sending them along for us to have a look at.